start with today's news government com allows india's companies to list on foreign exchange through ifsc so this was said by finance minister so that indian companies now directly list their shares on foreign exchange operating at the ifsc that is uh, international financial service center which is located in gujarat so for prelims you need to study about this ifsc that is central government has established this uh, body to regulate all financial services and the headquarters is located in gujarat and the, it has uh, nine members and these members were appointed by the central government like chairperson a member from rbi sebi irda and pfrda okay and two members from the ministry of um, finance and two members will be appointed on the recommendation of a selection committee so all members will have a tenure of 3 years and they are subject to reappointment also so this center will actually uh, uh, facilitate the financial service and transaction and uh, that is which is carried out in offshore uh, and that will be helpful in to uh, promote in overseas uh, transactions it offers a business and regulatory environment that is comparable to other leading ifscs like other leading F ifscs is located in singapore london and this intention is to provide indian corporate to have easier access to global financial markets so land use changes putting rocky addresses of animal and stress in sahaydri plateau so there there was a shift from traditional local grain cultivation to monoculture plantations of mango and cashew in sahaydri plateau of maharashtra so there was a shifting of this uh, culture pattern happening over here the west this is also called western ghats and it ex extends 1600 km parallel to the western coast of indian peninsula and it covers gujarat maharashtra goa karnataka kerala and tamil nadu it is a home to uh, many nations flora and wildlife the region is one of the 10 hottest biodiversity hotspots in the world the highest peak is kalsubai that is found in sahaydri mountains so recently gargil committee uh, was appointed so for uh, to and they recommended that all the western ghats should be declared as ecologically sensitive area so that only limited activity should be allowed in this zone and kasturi rangan committee was uh, appointed to sort balance the development activities and environmental uh, protection so in 2017 the question have been asked about the western ghats like uh, western ghats are spread over five states only no it is six states if you you have to remove second statement pulicate lake is spread over two states only that is true okay ngt panel for regulating tourist influx at mazuri so this comes under statutory body ngt panel to study carrying capacity of mazuri has recommended regulation of heavy tourist in influx particularly in the resort of uttarakhand so uh, the carrying capacity of ecosystem means the size of population that can be supported upon the available resources and services ngt is a specialized body uh, and uh, for setup of effective and expeditious disposal cases relating to the environmental protection and uh, the, the india was a third country in the world to set up a, such a kind of specialized environmental tribunal after australia and new zealand and um, it is a statutory body like courts ngt has also appellate jurisdiction and it is guided by natural justice so the recently question have been asked about ngt also thank you